Hello folks, Scott with Dallas Paint Correction and Auto Detailing here in Dallas, Texas. What in the world are we doing? This is a weird angle, right? Well, we're going to talk about headliner cleaning. I had a subscriber ask me, Scott, how do you clean these nasty headliners? What's your tricks to them? Well, they're a pain in the butt. But I do have a trick. Okay, so when we look at these things here, there's a couple of ways you can go about this. There's people out there telling you, boy, am I not prepared? I'm never prepared, right? Let me find something here. Where is this thing I wanted to show you guys? Boy, I'm, I'm really losing my mind here lately. But okay, but typically, let's say we had a spot on this headliner, right? Some guys are gonna take their favorite all-purpose cleaner, they're gonna spray it on that spot, maybe take a brush or something, and they're gonna lightly agitate it. That's fine to be able to to pre-treat or look for certain spots on the headliners. Typically, unless they're a smoker, unless it's an older vehicle, headliners for the most part, well, at least in my world, we don't. I don't tend to see a lot of greasy, grimy headliners, but I know they exist. So this is what I'm gonna do. This is what I would typically do when I look at a headliner. I'm gonna evaluate it first. Maybe I got a couple different spots. Somebody's grabbing the handle here all the time. They might be getting their greasy, grimy fingers on the around this part of the headliner all pre-treated. And there's another step you can do if you want, if you happen to have one, is a steamer. And I would wrap this end in a microfiber towel. I may spray some of my all-purpose cleaner or super, or super clean, which I'm in love with now. But if you sprayed it on there, kind of pre-treated it if you wanted to, and you wanted to steam over that, that's fine. But not everybody has a steamer. And sometimes using a steamer, breaking it out can be a little bit of a pain in the neck. I'm going to show you something, and it's the silliest thing in the world, but it just works wonders for me. And I can't take credit for it. There was a wonderful guy that uh, was in my life a very long time ago when I first got into auto detailing. And he just showed me a simple trick. It's going to be the silliest thing you've ever seen. But man, it works. It works on headliners. And it's a little bit of elbow grease. But spot treating with a little brush, the last thing I want to do is clean the whole headliner with this little brush, right? Or maybe you got a, a wheel woolly round thing. Holy crap, that'll drive you nuts. A steamer's great, but you got to be careful with steaming. A lot of these headliners, not so much now anymore with new cars, and I'll get into that in a minute, but they're glued. They got adhesive behind the headliner. So if you steam too long or sit in one place, for too long with the steamer, you can start to break down that glue. That could be, or adhesive, that could be a little bit dangerous. Or if you're working on an older vehicle that's already begun to kind of lose its grip on the roof of, this, uh, of the car, you want to be careful with a steamer. You want to work quickly. You don't want to sit in the place for too long. But what I'm going to show you, I have to laugh because I'll never forget this crazy guy. But I'm going to have a microfiber towel, right? I'm actually going to fold it in fours. So it looks something like that, right? I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna fold it in fours. Everybody knows that trick. Where am I? There we go. If you took a microfiber towel and tried to leave it flat in your hand like this and push it up against this headliner and move it across the headliner, it wants to roll up on you. Well, here's a cool little trick. The first thing you wanna do is fold this sucker back and forth. Holy crap, Scott, can you get to the point? And then you might want to spray, pre-treat some areas or whatever. But what I do, if I want to get to it quickly, quick, quickly, quickly, I'll hold the microfiber folded in fours. I'm going to spray my best, my favorite cleaner, which happens to be super clean right now, and I'm going to spray it on the face of this microfiber. And I'm going to get it pretty. I'm not going to get it saturated. Not going to get it soaking wet. I, I, I want it damp. And when I have it folded in fours, I'm going to do a little simple trick. I'm going to hold my hand like this, right? And I'm going to drop the microfiber into my hand and grip and grip it. And I'm going to turn my hand around. You see my knuckles, how they're kind of flat? And I want to roll the microfiber over my fist. But I want to grab this end here so it doesn't roll on me when I'm pushing it against the headliner. But I've got my super clean on this. I'm pinching it in my hand, like in the bottom, the bottom of the rig is pinched in my hand like a fist. I'm going to go up here to the headliner, 
and I'm just going to go back and forth and I'm going to use my knuckles. Is my head in the way? Probably. I'll move. So I'm going to go in here and just go like this over the headliner. Now I'm going to show you, hopefully it will show. Look at the garbage. Is it showing? Yeah. You can see down there, there's a lot of garbage on that microfiber. I may have to do this once on a lightly soiled headliner. Again, if I got to go in and hit it again, you got to remember a microfiber towel has got some nice grip to it. It's, it's able to grip this headliner without being overly nasty, overly aggressive with a brush, or maybe a steamer that can break down the adhesives behind it. Microfiber towels have the ability to have a little bit of bite, but not ruin the headliner where it starts getting frayed or whatever, but you might have to go in there once or twice, whatever, but I'll just apply, holy crap. Can you guys see that? See that nasty junk on the microfiber? And again, it's that simple little trick of holding, I always laugh when I think about this, holding that microfiber into your hand at the bottom so it doesn't roll up on you, make a small fist, and let that drop over the knuckles of your fist. Let me go in there again, do it. I'll spray a little bit more cleaner on, on here. You may even want to hit it up here with your cleaner, that's fine. Don't breathe this stuff, don't let it drop on you like I did. Pinch it in my hand roll it over my knuckles a little bit. I want to hold this bottom part of the microfiber so it doesn't roll up on me. And then simply come in here. I love this process, I don't know, but I can get so much of an area done with the headliner. I can fold up to a dry side of my microfiber and then just simply mop up after myself. And this part of the headliner now is absolutely clean. Absolutely clean. It's relatively dry to the touch. I didn't have to soak it. I took advantage of the fact the microfiber's got some bite to it. It's not overly aggressive, like going in here with a brush and I start to break the headliner down. I can get a larger area done over the headliner. Again, <coughs> so silly, but the way you hold that microfiber towel in your hand, just let it drop into your thumb area, grip it, roll it, and then let the microfiber fold over your hands and use that part of your knuckles and go back and forth. <coughs> Excuse me. Holy crap, it'll clean a big area of this headliner and you'll get it done quickly. To me, it's one of the best ways to clean a headliner. If it's really nasty, crappy, yes, the steamer will work. Be careful with the adhesives ab above it so it doesn't fall from the panel or from the roof. That's how I clean. A headliner. Hope that helps guys. Until next time, love one another.